All right, another project on a 92YJ. We are going to change the fuel filter. <laughs> I'm going to take a look here on the fuel rail. A little Schrader valve back here. I already unscrewed the cap. We need to depressurize the fuel line, so we're just going to stick a rag in here. Soak up any excess oil that might come out. Or gas. Gas. And then we're just gonna, we took a little Allen wrench, we're just gonna push down in here. A little gas popped out, so that should be all set. Oh, no more is coming out. That's good. Next, we're gonna go take off the gas cap out back. No, 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 no. Just unscrew this, take it out. Good. Then I'm going to climb underneath and take off the brackets to hold on the uh, fuel filter. All right, so we're just getting under here. We're going to take this bracket off. That just protects the fuel filter. So there's three nuts on here, screws, whatever. So we're just going to take these off. I need to take a video of this one. Working on the last screw. How are you going to? Alright. Working on the last screw. Alright, I'm working on this other screw that's giving me a little bit of a problem. So we're just pulling down this bracket to put a little tension. The screw was just spinning around. So keep pulling down on it. Oops. Let's see. There we go. All right. Actually, we got one more up here. Probably need the extension for that. I have these glasses on, but they keep falling on the back of my head, so they're not even, like, doing anything. Did you know I'm recording? No. Are you? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I had this crud falling on me. Rusty. There we go. Come on. All right. Down it goes. All oh, the schmeg that was in there was falling on me. No, let's hold on. Alright, we're just gonna spray our lubricant on here. This is really rusty. Um, so these bolts probably won't come out very easy, and you want to be very careful. This stuff's brittle. So we're just gonna spray this down and let it soak for a little bit before we take it off. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just unloosening the screw. We put the PB blaster stuff up there or whatever it is, some type of lubricant to loosen it. Just got to wrench around one side and loosen the other with a socket. It's coming right off, no problems. Just tap my shoulder or something. Alright, so we loosened this off. I was able to get the rest out by hand. It's all set and we're hopefully going to be able to gently remove the filter. Once this clamp opens up. Get a 
remove all these hoses first, though. All right. We're going to remove the hoses next. All right, we're just loosening the hose clamp that's closest to the filter. You might want to have some blanket under here to cover yourself with so you don't get covered in gas or at least try to lay to the side away from it. Because even though you depressurize the line, gas is still going to come out. So we're working on loosening a couple more of these hose clamps. And that should be starting to come out. We put a little funnel down here to try to collect some of the fuel. There it goes. A bit. Got me. Alright, so these are all loose. I'm just pulling these off. I don't know if you can see, but this hose looks pretty shot. So we're going to replace it. Probably the same thing on the other side, too. Keep the twist. I feel like it's pulling off this end as I'm twisting it on this end. All right, here we go. There we go fuel everywhere. All right, so the bar pulled out. That side's disconnected. We'll have to work on the other side. Basically, you just kind of make a pulling and twisting motion. Sometimes they're a little tough. This one wasn't too terrible on this side. I don't know how this side's going to go. It's a little bit more difficult than this one. <laughs> Shit! I got gas all over me. <laughs> and I think a part fell in there. <laughs> Should I bother leaving this down here anymore? Gas is all over the ground now anyway, so fuck it, I don't care. Alright, so, I'm gonna try to... Are you still recording? Try to get in a good position. I don't want the gas in my face. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Oh. This thing does not want to budge. You know what? I think... Alright. I'm loosening one more hose clamp that I neglected to see. It was still tight. That's why it was not wanting to come off. a tight area in here. You are going to get gasoline on yourself no matter what. So be prepared for it. Alright. Is that better? Just kind of loosening it a little bit more with my hand. There we go. That was a little biatch. There we go. Out.